Okay, changing my belt on my snowblower here. Uh, the belt kind of broke on me. Not broke, it still spins, but if it uh, gets too heavy, it stops spinning. And either way it goes, it's not throwing anything out the top. So what I did is, uh, since you got to interact this right here in order for it to spin, I put a bungee cord around this, a, a strap around this, and then I kind of went up front to look, and it was spinning to throw light snow frontwards, and then when I hit a mound, it would stop. So this is, I don't know, actually know what kind of uh, snowblower this is. It says American made. Let me see, yard machine. It's a yard machine, uh, 4.5 horsepower, horsepower, 21 inch, okay? And what, uh, I've never done this before. Uh, got the snowblower used. So I figure this right here has to be where the belt is. So let me go ahead and take that off. All right, they're 10 millimeter sockets. There's one two three four five ten millimeter sockets on the side right now i already loosened them let me get them off and show you how it looks like underneath there okay got them off already the, the lug nuts they actually came off pretty easy okay and there's the belt right there seems actually like a pretty easy fix when you pull back on this it just tightens it down right there and then this is the belt that got to be replaced right this is the belt that got to be replaced Whew. it's hot so yeah it was slipping it was slipping and it smells like uh, burnt uh, burnt cable there. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace that one. When I find out what size it is, I'll go ahead and let you know. It should be, right, We had two feet of snow coming this weekend, so I got to get up and running by then. All right, be back with you. Bye. Okay, one thing I did notice in order to get this off. Remember your, remember your pattern here when you're doing this. But this is the uh, tensioner that puts tension on it in order to get, the, get it spinning. But it's easy to come off right here, but you're going to actually have to push down on the tensioner to get it off on right here on the top one. If you have the same model, the, the job uh, on this adventure, it's only like a three. It's a real easy, simple job for you to do. Don't have to take it in. This is what spins and gives you the torque. This is what spins the blade. And this is what gives you the tension on your cable to make it spin. So even with the tension, this is spinning really light, but not hard enough. So I know I need a new belt. So like I said, you have to put a little bit of tension on here to lift that to be able to get the belt out of it. All right, bye. Okay, I got my belt in the mail here. Uh, one thing about my belt is it uh, actually, when uh, this broke, I'm going to finish about three weeks later now, because when my other belt wore out, I had to go, I went to Menards around here everywhere. I could not find this belt. So I went to Menards.com. It said in stock and I ordered it. I paid for two day shipping because the snowstorm was coming. Snowstorm. And I didn't get it for, uh, well, after the two days I paid for express shipping. The third day, I got an email saying that they're out of stock. I'll get it in two weeks. So I sent the email complaining saying that, hey, I, you said it was in stock. I ordered it's supposed to be here in two days. You know, snowstorms are coming. Actually, it's two snowstorms passed, and I wasn't able to get it, so they sent me two free belts. So that actually worked out pretty good for my part. But anyways, I, I got the old, old belt off right now. This right here, you push on this right here, and it lifts up so you can get the belt underneath there. So the belt is underneath there. It goes ugh, underneath this right here, because this is actually what gives it the tension. This is what gives it the tension. And then you gotta try to get it around the other one. Uh, let me see how I can do it. Maybe I can get it on that one first. Well, let me go this way still. Turn these right here, and then just walk it around the other one. It's very tight, but it needs to be. Keep walking it around. Again, this side so I get a better grip for trying to be in the angle. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going through all this crap. There you go. And it's on. And what happens is, see how tight that was to get this on? Well, anyways, this is pretty tight, but when you squeeze the handle, it actually gets real tight to go ahead and spin the uh, to spin the blade. So that's why it has to be that tight to get it on. So, all right, I'm just gonna put it back together, put the uh, cover back on here, and it's done. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you, what people, a lot of people say about, but uh, I didn't do it, and I, actually normally don't your spark plug is under here if you pop this up they say take off the spark plug so you don't accidentally uh, start it when you're pulling it around that way 
But for for a small engine like this, you got to pull it three or four times before it starts up anyway. So that's why I didn't do it if you were wondering why you didn't. Anyways, that's how to change the belt on the yard machine. Bye.